Hi boys and girls, I'm teacher Michelle. Today I'm going to read to you Hawaii for Wadney Wat. It was written by Helen Lester and illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. Poor Wadney, Wadney Wat. His real name was Rodney Rat, but he couldn't pronounce his R's. To make matters worse, he was a rodent. A wodent. What's your name, Wadney? asked the other rodents. Wadney Wat, whispered Wadney. What's another name for Bunny? they asked knowingly. Wabbit, he mumbled. And how does a train travel? they winked at each other. A twain travels on twain twacks, Wadney replied miserably. All of his teasing day in and day out made Wadney the shyest rodent in his elementary school. His squeak could barely be heard in class. He gnawed lunch all alone. And while the other rodents scurried and scooted about at recess, Wadney hid inside his jacket. Then one day, as the rodents were taking turns doing wheelies, a new rodent, a very large rodent, barged into the classroom and announced, my name is Camellia Capybara. I'm bigger than any of you, I'm meaner than any of you, and I'm sure smarter than any of you. Then she added, so there. With that, she accidentally on purpose elbowed an ear, bumped two noses, stepped on three tails, and lay down on a desk. Fur prickled in fear through the classroom. She sure was bigger than any of them. She sure looked meaner than any of them. Was she smarter than any of them? What's two plus two? asked Miss Fuzzleworth. Four, shouted Camellia Capybara without even bothering to raise her paw. And furthermore, four plus four is eight, eight plus eight is 16, and 243 plus 125 is 368. Later, when Miss Fuzzleworth asked, what's the capital of? Camellia interrupted. New York, Albany, population 295,594. And during science, an answer to the question, what part of a plant is below the ground? Camellia Capybara danced on her desk and sang, root, 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 rooty toot toot. Yep, thought all the other rodents, she's smarter than we are too. <sighs> they felt very, very uncomfortable. Every afternoon, just before the final recess, Miss Fuzzleworth drew a name from her hat to see who would be the leader of their favorite game, Simon Says. She scrunched her eyes and closed and jiggled the hat. Would it be Harry Hamster, Minnie Feet Mouse, Grizzle for his guinea pig? Could it be big, mean, smart, Camellia Capybara? Miss Fuzzleworth's paw reached in and pulled out the name of <gasps> Wadney Wet. The bell rang. There was a wild scurry for the door, and Camellia Capybara was the first on the playground, having trampled all the others in her path. To Wadney, she looked especially scary. What would she do when she heard him speak? Breathe Capybara breath in his face? Or tie him up in his own tail? Or even pounce on him? The tiny trembling leader on the game stood before the eager players, his head well inside his jacket, and squeaked, Wadney says weed the sign. While the other rodents read, PS 142 Elementary School for Rodents, Camellia began pulling up weeds around the sign and wildly flinging them hither and yon till she was clear up to her teeth and dirt. The other rodents began to smile. Wadney says, whap your paws around your head. He peeked a little out of his jacket and saw, whap, 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 whappity slap, slap. Camellia was whapping her paws on her head so hard she became dizzy, gave herself a headache, and had to sit down. The other rodents couldn't help giggling. <laughs> Wadney says, play, wing around the woozy. Camellia put her arms out like wings and made an airplane noise. But where was the woozy? What was a woozy?
By now, Wadney's voice was stronger and his head was entirely out of his jacket. Wake the leaves! Nobody moved. Wadney says wake the leaves! While Harry, many feet, Grizzle Frizz, and others busied themselves raking, Camellia Capybara grabbed one leaf. Hey! Wake up! She yelled. Can you wake up a leaf? I don't think so. She snatched another. Come on, you! Up, up, up! And another. Rise and shine! And another. Boo! By now, all the other rodents were squealing with laughter. All but Camellia, who frowned. Stupid leaves! They won't wake up! And why was everyone laughing at her? Such bullies! In a voice so strong, he had to hold his own ears, Wadney called, Wadney says go west! The rodents collapsed in a happy heap for a rest. Go west, Camellia Capybara, feeling very smart that she could tell directions by the sun, said, All right, I shall go west. And then she added, so there. West she stomped forever. She was gone. And from that day on, the pupils of PS 142 Elementary School for Rodents never teased Wadney again. He was their hero. Away for Wadney wet, they cried. Woo, 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 wooty toot toot. The end. Well, thank you boys and girls for reading this story with me. I think it's a really important story about the impact bullies can have and how we can just be nice to each other. So today, do something nice for someone in your family. Bye.